Hello to all my friends out uh, in Facebook. I want to say hello to all my family and my friends and all those that are listening to this broadcast today and some of the churches that I've pastored over the country. I want to say hello to you from this broadcast and say that I think about all of you often, many times, and I praise God for you. And so we thank God that we can look to the Word of God during times like this and give Him praise for everything He has done. I want to call your attention to some scripture in Ephesians chapter 3 and verse number 20. And it says, Now unto Him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all we can ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. That's one of the great promises we have in the Word of God. Christians, you can stand up on this scripture. So we serve a God, a miraculous God, a great God. He can do anything. It says in the beginning of that verse, Now unto him that is able, he is certainly able. There's nothing God cannot do. He wants to perform miracles in your life. He wants to give you encouragement. He wants to give you strength especially in these times that we're living in right now. We know that we're living in, in the last days, and we know that Jesus is coming soon. And we also know that the power of God wants to minister to all of you that are listening to this broadcast today. He is certainly able, and then it goes on to say, to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can even ask or think, and another word for that or is, is all we can imagine. He can do great and mighty things, uh, and I love to think about the scripture here where he can do exceedingly. He can do beyond our own imaginations of what he can do. So when you're praying, just trust God and ask God to give you the desires of, of your heart, and trust God. Be sure your life is in right perspective with God. Be sure you're walking down the right road so that God can bless you and use you in a great way. Anything we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. That word power comes from the word Greek word dunamis or dynamite. According to that force, that dynamite, that power that works inside of our heart, we have something going on inside of our heart. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the presence of God. It's the anointing of God that wants to break down every fetter and every chain. If you get a hold of God and, and walk with Him, He will give you the desires of your heart and give you great victory every day that you live. And I want to also call your attention to verse 16 in this same chapter, chapter 3, that He would grant according to the riches of His glory to be strengthened with his might by his spirit in the inner man. He wants to give you the riches of his glory. He has promised us wonderful future, eternal life. He's promised to give us victory over everything that we face today. Oh, there's a lot of you that are facing so many things out there today. Do not let depression or fear or anxiety, or panic, or anything like that, get a hold of your life. Walk with God. Trust Him every day, because He is a great, miraculous God. I want to just believe God with you today, that God is going to perform a miracle in all of your needs. He's going to open up new opportunities for you today. He's going to give you that job. There's many people been laid off. He's going to give you a job. He's going to give you opportunities. Uh, my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches and glory, is what the Bible says. Hold on to his unchanging hand. Trust him in every step and every walk of the way. You can have, uh, you can have deliverance over all these things that I've been talking about. Don't let the devil, don't let Satan trick you into thinking that you can't have victory in God because there's a presence of God that walks with us every day and he wants to strengthen you. I want to thank God for the scriptures that I've shared with you today. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above everything we can even ask or even think or even can imagine. He is in control. Folks, I want to tell you something. God is in control of what's going on in this world today. 
don't let don't let anything convince you that this world is coming down because God is in control. Regardless, we know that tribulation is coming. We know that the signs of the times are there. The seals are about to be open, I believe, in the Bible. The rapture of the church is about to take place. The folks, to the meantime, uh, the Word of God tells us to occupy till He comes. So I want to tell you and encourage you today, and I want to believe God with you. I'm going to pray with you today for all those that are listening. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for all of those out there today. By the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, according to the power that works in us, God, that you will open opportunities for those that are discouraged and those that are having a hard time getting food and those that uh, are really wondering what they're going to do from day to day. God, I pray your miracle power will work upon them and the strength of God will come into their heart. I thank you, Lord, for your victory that you're going to give us today. And I praise you for all your victory today that you're going to give it all your people of God. Thank you so much for listening to this broadcast today. I will be coming back to you real soon. And I thank God for all the victory and all the anointing upon you. And believe God for that miraculous power to happen to you today. In the name of Jesus.